What is up? My name is Jay and in this video I want to show you how you can lazy load your images. I'm going to be using a library called Vanilla Lazy Load created by Andrea from Italy. Thank you so much. Such an amazing library. So I'm here at the GitHub and um, the link is on the description of this video. So go there and if you scroll down you will see a bunch of instructions. There is a lot of documentation. Very, very awesome. So thank you. And then the one that we're going to use on this tutorial is going to be the CDN. Um, just a very basic, simple. But there's a lot of other options. Um, if you if you want to use require.js, you can define, you can npm, in, NPM install, um, you can import, react. So we have a lot of options here, but we're going to use just the regular link. So let's take a look at my website first. So let's go there. So here you can see like we have a headline, we have some text. And um, if you scroll down, we have images and images and more images. All right. So our goal here is to not load all these images on page load because it doesn't make sense when you have a lot of images and then you load all those images at once and then your page is like very slow. So we just want to load the ones that people see at first, like immediately. And then when people scroll and go to that image, then it loads, which is, makes a lot of sense for, for performance. Um, your website is going to be a lot faster and the experience is going to be a lot better. So that's the goal. We're going to use um, uh, vanilla lazy load for that. So let's go to my text editor. We can see some code. All right, so this is the website. You can see um, it's just simple. Here we have the H1, some text, and we have the list of all images here. All right, and you can see um, if we go to the website again, let's inspect the element to see and make sure that all the images are loading and all that. Let's go to network. I'm just gonna reload this page. And yeah, so let's, Click here, image, so we can see only the images. And you can see all the images are loading just right there. Let me hard reload empty cache. So you can see, and here you can see like all images loading. And these images are huge. I'm sorry. Do not do this. Please optimize your images for web. My goal right now, I just want to load, as you can see, this image, which is the first that people see. I want to load it immediately. This just this one because this is the only one that we see when we go to this page. But then we have other images here that I want to load. If people go there, if they don't, they never get requested, right? That's what we want. So let's go back to the code. All right. So first, we're gonna go down here. And before uh, we close the body, we're going to paste that CDN link for our lazy load. So let's go back there. Let's go and copy all this. Let's go back and let's paste it. All right. That's the first thing you're going to do. Save that. And now one thing we need to do is um, we need to add something and change something here on the image. So first thing we need to change the source because if if we have the source, it's going to load immediately. So we're going to change it to a data attribute. So it's going to be data hyphen source. But remember, we want to load this first image immediately. So let's keep it as source. Now, the second one, we don't want to. So let's change it. And we're going to do all the same thing for all of them. OK, so I'm just going to copy and paste very quick. I'm sure that is a better way to do this faster, but that's this is fine. All right, so now the first one is the only one that had the source and is going to load immediately, but then this ones are not going to load. So let's save it. And now let's go and test it. Let's see. Let's go here. Let's reload this page. As you can see, image one is loaded and we don't have nothing. There's no images because we don't have the source. All right, so that's how lazy load is going to help us. So let's go here and let's add some code. 
So we're gonna open a script tag and we're gonna close it. And here we're gonna create a variable. I'm gonna call it my lazy load. Is equal to new lazy load just like this and now we're gonna have an object here and now there's a lot of options the API is awesome but for now we're gonna use elements selector And here we choose whatever class is on the image. So you can see here that on every single image we have the class of photo, photo, photo. So that's the one that we're gonna use here. So let's do photo. So now we're telling lazy load, get every single image with the class of photo, you're gonna do your magic, right? Um, so let's save that. Oh, actually, this is not gonna work. Please put this before the script. So do it right here. Yep. And save it. Yeah. So make sure you request um, lazy load before you put all your lazy load script and all your code. Okay. All right. So let's go back to the page. Let's reload this page. All right. The image one is loaded. Let's scroll down. Oop. Take a look. Image two is loaded now. Here it is. Scroll down. Image three is loaded. And here you can you can keep going and going and going. Until image eight. Yeah, that's the last one. Here we go. So <laughs> it's that simple. This is gonna help you a lot. I mean the performance of your website is gonna be insanely better because right now this is loading so fast because the only thing is loading is um let's go back and see um everything all right so here you can see so we're loading the css um we're loading we're loading lazy load and then we're loading only one image and that's it um don't worry about this file this is the um, browser sync that i'm running here but it's only gonna load one image and that's it. Now, if you, scroll, if you scroll down, then you will see that it's gonna load more and more and more. I'm gonna go back to the page. So that's done, that's all I needed, but here you can see all the things that you can do. I'm gonna let you play with it. Um, you can do the same thing with background images. You can do the same thing with videos. You can do the same thing with iframes. You can do the same thing with a scrolling panel. So if you have a different container that is scrolling different images, you can do it that way. Bottom line, this is very easy and it's gonna help you a lot with your website. So I hope this helps and that's it. Subscribe if you wanna keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.